Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game by Boris Spassky against his opponent Bernd Soderborg who is considered as one of the strongest chess grandmasters from Sweden I don't know if he was a chess grandmaster but he's known as one of the best chess players in Sweden from late 1950s early 1960s a pretty tough chess player so Boris Spassky was the former world chess champion who needs no introduction and this chess game happened in Reykjavik, Iceland in 1957 Reykjavik, that's the same place where Bo Boris Spassky where he lost his title against Boris, uh, Bobby Fischer so let's see what happened in this chess game Boris Spassky starts the game with e4, we have e5 and knight to f3, knight to c6 and basically we have the Spanish game it, so pushing the pawn, developing the queen, black is developing the knight and the bishop c3 planning d4, both players castled, pretty ordinary, pretty standard so far, so developing the bishop, pinning the knight, queen to e7 and bishop to d5, we have queen to d7, defending the knight and unpinning the knight, well Spassky played a crafty looking move, he captured on f6 actually this move seems like an obvious move but he's losing the bishop and damaging the pawn structure so pluses and minuses and then d4 by Boris Spassky so takes and now he played another crafty move he captured the knight bishop, bishop takes on c6 and black played d3 why did black didn't capture it so let's check out what happens if capturing a then this is the idea of white, c takes on d4 and if defending the bishop then d5 and black can resign. So bishop to c4 maybe Soderbergh didn't see this variation but a white has a very strong move, can you see the best move for white? So this is a skewer, of course that is queen to c2 and after capturing the rook, well we can take the bishop, this bishop is pinned so after unpinning takes, takes and black is a pawn up and black has the exchange and white has two minor pieces pluses and minuses okay so in the real chess game bishop takes on c6 d3 queen takes on d3 capturing the bishop and developing the knight king over so as you can see this f pawn is a weakness knight in so Spassky is giving the bishop pair to his opponent but at the same time as you can see this pawn is a weakness a4 Rook over takes, takes, queen to f3, targeting the pawn, so takes, takes, and still targeting the pawn, so defending, and Spassky is targeting the c pawn, maybe a deflection uh, is on the cards, deflection idea is on the cards, and then capturing the pawn, so black is pushing the pawn, but it is white to move, Spassky is still hoping to deflect the queen, he played an incredible move. Well, Boris Spassky played rook to a7, what a shot by Spassky, sacrificing the rook and what else, capturing, deflecting the queen, but Boris Spassky sacrificed the whole rook, he is rook down, so this is risky, takes, check, only move, and then lifting the rook up and how to defend rook to g3. So this is the only defense, if rook to g3 only defense is with the bishop, capturing the bishop and checkmate, so defending, making room for the king, check, king over, only defense, and then d5 by Boris Spassky, rook to a8, but as you can see there is no back rank threat, because the knight is defending the back rank threat, and in this position if defending the bishop if you don't pay attention if you play some careless move then we can capture the pawn with check if blocking with the queen check mate so in this position after capturing if blocking with the rook this is still getting checkmated just like this only move check mate baby there is no defense oh yeah beautiful isn't it sacrificing the rook deflecting the queen pushing the bishop back and then checkmating the king but this didn't happen in the real game black was not that weak so not defending the bishop and rook to a8 and Spassky played a very beautiful move in my opinion he played h4 
Spassky was not born yesterday in this position if, actually, if capturing the bishop, black is fighting back after rook takes on e6. Black is fighting back. So, rook over and then h4. And queen to d7, extra defense, rook in and queen to d8. Queen to h6, threatening discovered checks to the king. So, we have king to e7. Uh, escaping, running away, but in this position, white has a very strong move, and after that move, the Swedish chess master resigned. Can you guess the next move for Boris Spassky? He played a smashing move. The move is... Did you see the move? <laughs> the move is this. Oh, yeah. Queen takes on e6, and the f-pawn is pinned. Only move, check, mate. Hell yeah. What an attack by Boris Spassky. And in this position, after... Uh, let me show you one very interesting thing. In this position, is this walking into the trap? Let's play some random move, then rook takes on h7. If going here, this is just basically getting checkmated immediately. So, rook takes on h7, and if king to e7, we still have check, king up, checkmate. So, this is why... In this position, actually, there is no escape after this move. Black is hoping to escape, but Spassky says, you can run, but you can't hide. Capturing the bishop, check. A smashing, crashing chess game by Boris Spassky. This pawn is pinned. What a beauty this last position is. Black is getting checkmated in one move. Uh, so this is why Brand Soderbergh resigned. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.